Today is the 8th of December. Do I need to say that again? The 8th of December. I mean, I guess I do. But anyways, as I did just say, it's the 8th of December for the third time. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at one of the new for 2021 Docs Racing Days Piston Cup races of Ducky Font Leroy, aka Peter Donald, aka Donald Duck. We'll talk about that in just a few seconds here, but shouts to Akbar Ali, I believe I did pronounce your name correctly. You can go check out his channel, there it is, of course, little image right now, you know, maybe he'll leave a comment saying thank you for, you know, reviewing Ducky Font Leroy. You could click on his channel there, and it will take you to his channel. Make sure you give him a subscribe. But yep, anyways, we'll be taking a close look at Ducky Fontley Y for the third time this year. I reviewed him on the channel in this video, and also this video. Make sure you check out those two videos to see how much my content has changed since the previous two. But you know, I love Ducky Fontley Y. He's one of my favourite releases for 2021. So you know, why not review him for a third time? Here he is. He is new for 2021. We can see that new logo there. It looks pretty cool. We can see the Disney Pixar Cars logo in the top right hand corner with the stripe coming down too. DXV29 code again with the hook, which looks pretty cool. The metal logo, of course. I've had many, many of questions asking, are these cars metal die cast? Yep, they are. I haven't actually had any questions. I'm just mocking a certain few people who generally do say that in their videos. We can see Ducky Front Lewis artwork here, which you can pause and screenshot, or you can screenshot now. Of course, the artwork has already been, you know, photocopied and downloaded. So, you know, you can use that screenshot there if you wish. Yep, here he is in the, in the of course, blister. He looks pretty cool with the cheery old, old toot. It looks amazing. We've got Ducky Front Lewis, Peyton Donald. Of course, 3 Plus, Mattel, looks pretty sweet. On the back of the packaging, we have got other cars seen in Cars 3. We've got Pick Remember Fillmore, which I have recently reviewed. Same as Danico Cruz, Pat Traxon, Ducky Font Lui, who I'm reviewing now, Mike Clutchburn, and of course Aiden. Kathy Copter isn't actually seen in Cars 3, she is seen in Cars 1. We can see the Piston Cup stand in the background there too. Here is other, other information on the back of the packaging, some other gibberish. Main feature now is that he's made in Thailand, as you can see there with the RSM Racing Sports logo at the bottom there as well. So yeah, that is all for his package. <clears throat> now, here he is out of the box, and I've got to say, he looks absolutely fabulous. But yep, on this side of your screen now is where a picture where he roughly appeared. Best picture is next to Rusty Dipstick, the number 90 Piston Cup racer, which we are still yet to get released. Hopefully in 2022, we'll see him soon. But yep, he's got this nice smiling expression, Nice silver bumper there at the front. Nice headlights with the grill. Looks absolutely cool. Of course, very unique. On the hood, it reads Cheerio Old Toot with a little horn there as well. You know, it looks pretty cool. He's got mirrors on both sides of the die cast. He's got blue eyes and red eyelids to match the red colour of the die cast. On the hood, he is number 42, so he reminds you a little bit of Cal Weathers, who is the Piston Cup racer in Cars 3 for Dynaco. On the hood, we can see that it reads Ducky Font Leroy, of course, which is his name, which is Donald Duck, and of course, yeah, Peter Donald is Donald Duck in Spanish. You know, there's a little picture of Donald Duck, little funny character, always love him. But yeah, going on to the side, we can see Blowy Bilsom safety horns, looks pretty cool. We can see the two logos there that are pretty much on every single Piston Cup racer in the 1950s. Nice rims, there's the 42 again. We can see the door handle, don't know why cars have door handles because if you open them up you can literally see their brains brains yep cheer old old toots again with the swell coming down to the tire with the muddy decals quality safety horns and there's the safety horn there i guess you could say as well on the back we can see blow burn some safety horns again with the 42 and the logos there we can see cheer old toots again and again the same quality safety horns it looks absolutely amazing with the rear lights, pretty cool. And of course there is the exhaust pipe coming out at the back of the die cast. Here is the other side of Ducky Font Leroy, of course. And here is the base. Made in the 45th week in the A factory in 2020, of course. It was released in 2021, but he wasn't he was produced in that week of 2020. I am quickly gonna pair him to some other regular models that look familiar to him, like Leroy Hemming. 
<coughs> it does look very familiar. Of course, the number and colouring are different. Two bases. There is Leroy Hemming. Of course, I think you guys can know what's coming up here next. The other new one for 2021. Dewey Cone Mod, my second favourite. I love that baby blue metallic paint. Maybe he will get reviewed again for 2022. Or 2021, sorry, I should say. But, you know, I have recently reviewed him. So that may be a not a possibility. Who knows, if someone does suggest him, there are a few days still open. Here is Hood. Of course, his name is Slim Hood. But the quotations around the Slim meaning he's just Hood. And I'm going to put Ducky Fontenoy there. We have Randy Lawson, which is, of course, one of the first ones released in this model. The Sputterstop Piston Cup Racer. And of course, one last one, which unfortunately I do not have open, is Clovis Rider from 2021 as well. I really do wish I had a second Clovis Rider. You know, maybe I'll get one after Christmas, but who knows. Here are some of the other new retro Piston Cup races for this year. We got um, Caleb Wally, we got Jimmy LaGrench, and we also got Joe Don Jackson. So yeah, thank you to Akbar Ali for, you know, suggesting me to review Ducky Fontley Roy for day 8 of the 24 days of Christmas views. Yep, that's a thing now, I'm saying that. I can't make my mind up on what I'm going to say. But yep, if you are all new to the channel, please make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell notification down below and of course to the very, very, very next video, of course, which will be tomorrow. Peace guys.